Hey everyone, it's Tony with Hidden Light Photography. Are you using two ASI cameras, one for guiding and one for primary imaging, and finding that sometimes your primary imaging camera connects in PHD2 and vice versa? Well, today I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to know which camera connected where and be able to connect the correct camera into the correct program. So if you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button. I don't want you to miss out on any valuable information. Now let's jump on in and end the tug of war between Nina, PHD2, and your two ASI cameras. Before we get started, this method should work for other brands of cameras. I'm just not 100% positive because my experience is solely with ASI cameras. So if you happen to see this, and you know for sure that this method will work with other brands of cameras, or you have another brand of camera and have the same struggles and can confirm that this method works with another brand of camera, I would love to know and be able to get it out into the community. So if you don't mind, drop a comment in the comment section if you know or can confirm that this method works. Now, when we hop into Nina and we go into our equipment tab and we start connecting our equipment, there's a couple of things to do here. Uh, in order to get your ASI cameras to connect to the proper programs. In other words, if you have two ASI cameras, one camera for guiding and another camera for primary imaging, I'm sure that you'll find that sometimes Nina and PHD2 kind of have a tug of war effect trying to figure out who is gonna control which camera. So I'm gonna show you a quick trick to ensure that the proper ASI camera is connected to the appropriate program. Now, what we wanna do is connect our mount so our mount is ready to go and connect to PHD2. Now, before we connect to our primary imaging camera, we wanna go ahead and summon PHD2. This is because PHD2 does not allow you to choose which camera you connect to prior to connecting to PHD2. Now, it's important to summon PHD2 from within Nina by going to our guider icon and then click connect. Now, it's important to summon within Nina because from my experience and from what I've read from other people's experiences, if you open PHD2 from outside of Nina, there can be communication issues between Nina and PHD2. So always make sure to summon PHD2 from within Nina to avoid any communication issues between the two. So what we're gonna do is connect to PHD2 from within Nina. Nina is gonna open PHD2 automatically and connect to our mount and connect to our camera. Now, PHD2 is gonna automatically start looping exposures. Now I have my lens cap on, so that's why we have a staticky screen here. Um, what we wanna do is get into this little connections tab, this little connections icon. But as you can see, it's grayed out. What we need to do is click on this little stop sign that'll stop the exposure looping, and now we can see our connection icon is highlighted. And then what we can do is click on the connections icon, and that'll open up our equipment window. We can see that our mount is connected and our camera's connected. As you can see here, we have an ASI camera one ASCOM. Now let's pause in PHD2 for just a moment and hop into Nina. If we go to our camera tab, you'll see that we have an ASI Camera 1 ASCOM and ASI Camera 2 ASCOM. You may or may not see two ASI Camera ASCOM drivers. If you do, great. We will be assigning one ASI Camera to ASI Camera 1 and the other ASI Camera to ASI Camera 2. On the flip side, if you only have one ASI camera ASCOM driver, save this driver for the camera that you're using within Nina, your primary imaging camera. 
This is because Nina has been known to have issues from my experience and from what I've read from other people's experiences. Nina has been known to have issues running an ASI camera off of the native driver. So make sure to save the ASCOM driver for Nina. Let's hop back into PhD2. And let's hop back into our equipment window. From here, we want to disconnect our camera. Now, if you have two ASI camera drivers for ASCOM, pick one and we'll go ahead and move on to the next step. If you only have one ASI camera dr uh, driver for ASCOM, what you want to do within PHD2 is scroll all the way down to ZWO ASI camera. This is the native driver and this is the driver that we're going to use for our ASI camera within PHD2. PHD2 does not have any issues running an ASI camera off of the native driver, which is why we will save the native driver for PHD2 if you only have one ASCOM driver. It will make no difference in performance, whichever one you choose, whether it be ASCOM or the native driver, unless you're using the native driver with a NINA, which is known to have issues. So, in this case, I'm gonna choose ASI Camera 1, ASCOM, and then we're gonna come over here to this little icon camera setup. This is gonna open up the ZWO driver and we can see which camera is actually connected within PHD2. And verify that this camera is the correct camera that you want for PHD2, in other words, your guide camera. If it's not, click the, dry, the drop down menu and choose the camera that you want to be assigned for guiding. In this case, my ASI 585MC. Once you have the correct camera showing in the drop down list, we're going to click OK and then connect. Now the camera is assigned to PHD2 and then we'll hit close. We'll go back into Nina and we'll go to our primary imaging camera tab and we'll click the drop down. And in this case, I'm going to use ASI camera 2 ASCOM. Again, if you only have one ASI camera ASCOM driver, save that driver for Nina. Once you have your driver selected, which should be different than the one from within PHD2, click on the little settings icon, and again, it'll bring up your native ZWO driver. In this case, since we're in Nina, we're gonna choose our primary imaging camera. In this case, my ASI 2600MM Pro. Once you have the correct primary imaging camera for Nina selected, we'll hit OK, and then we'll go ahead and connect the camera. Now you have your ASI guide camera selected for PHD2, and then your ASI primary imaging camera selected in Nina. Now it's important to understand we are working with computers. Computers do goofy things, things happen in the background, things can change. So what I recommend is always hop into your connections tab within PHD2 after summoning PHD2 from within Nina, disconnect your camera and check to make sure the appropriate driver is selected and then hop into your camera settings to ensure that the correct camera is selected. So I hope that you found this useful. If you did, do me a favor that channel icon that popped up, hit that channel icon and subscribe. I don't want you to miss out on any upcoming content. And then drop a comment in the comments section. Did you learn anything new? What questions do you have? And then check out that next video. Until the next time, clear skies.